Things look like. You know, you're not going to believe me, but uh, I ran 60 pound test mono through that the other day just to prove prove that it would go through there easily. Yeah. That's the guy that. Uh, that's a microwave. Yes. Yeah. That's supposed to cut the spiral down, right? Okay, so if any of you that are interested in, in seeing these, these are uh, size 4 micro guides. The stripper that's on here, this is a spinning rod obviously, but the stripper that's on here is, is called a microwave stripper. And uh, when the line comes off the spool, it comes off in big loops goes through this stripper and when it comes out the other side it's going straight. Is that That's enough of a gap between the, the large part of the ring and the small ring? Yeah. It is really? Absolutely. It, it, goes right down the, the spinal... it stops it. That's a choke guy. That's a choke. Better. Better? Make sure all of you guys get your seeker yeah. hat and your seeker information the, catalogs it, here. <clears throat> Oh, cool. if, if you're interested in talking about this, catch me after you get done here because I'm, I'm sure that many of you yeah, probably yeah. aren't interested in the microwave guide, but uh, it does, if you realize that that line is coming off at better than 2,000 revolutions per minute when it comes off of here and it's going, it's going through here, this guide will literally stop those, that bunch of, of line that you have coming off of here, both both monofilament and uh, braze. It'll send it through here. When it comes out the other side, it's it's virtually going straight. So instead of setting the choke guide up further on the rod, it's already in the stripper. You know, this is the first one of these I built, and I could not, when, when I put that guide right there, I thought, whoa. <laughs> You know, I took it out and cast and I could not believe what it did. I took an eighth ounce, one of those little tiny eighth ounce sinkers, and I threw it from here to the other end of the shop. So it, it does work. And what's, what's that guy called? It's a, it, it's in Rodmaker magazine this, this month. It's a, a, a microwave. Microwave. Shockwave, yeah. Shockwave is, is Another is not this guy, but the real. We get a micro gear. Little, one little thing here. We get in a micro We're having a big trout derby December 10th at Irvine Lake. Um, the tickets have to be purchased through us, but we're having a, a big raffle. We're having a potluck uh, barbecue, I guess you would call it. And uh, also we're having trophies and there's a cash jackpot. We're assuming whoever catches the biggest trout at Lake Irvine this day is probably going to take home over a thousand bucks and a really nice trophy. So I don't know if you guys want to join us. There's teams from all over Southern California coming out anywhere from Team Robinson Helicopter to Team Baja Fish Gear. Team UPS, they're all coming out. There'll probably be 150, 170 people fishing trout December 10th if any of you are interested just thought I'd let you know how much is it for a team well it's 22 bucks to get in the lake that's their standard price that they oh, okay. charge but we will have the tickets here with our ticket you get a free raffle ticket to get into our raffle and you're included in our in our lunch festivities and trophy stuff so do we have trout guys here so I don't know if any of you like to fish trout but December 10th you can come out and shake it up with us if you want <laughs>